Good evening everyone and so we are back, we are back with another live reaction performance to not only one of the most amazing vocalists of all time but in my opinion the best male, male vocalist in my generation and of course it's no other than James Arthur. So I have been um, networking with loads of you out there and it's been an absolute pleasure one to get to know you, two to obviously see your reactions. I'm glad I'm not the only one that has these uh, feelings uh, towards the music that James Arthur and Dalton Harris and others that I have done live reactions to do to us, if you like. You know, those that um, have been on the journey with me with Dalton Harris are very much the same as you, where we've got the Dalton Harris blues. And those that are on the same journey with me as James Arthur are as in love and in awe as James Arthur, you know, as I am, as, as a fan of his music and his ability. So, well, anyway, so we, we, uh, well, I, should I say, have been in several discussions with, uh, with a number of you on, on Twitter um, recently. And uh, there's been one particular person <coughs> called Alison MF J Army. And uh, she's also at Midnight Tally 912. So please check her out, guys. Please hit that follow button on her account. Um, she has been absolutely fantastic for me. So we didn't know each other from Adam, and I did a couple of you know live reactions to James Arthur songs, and more important, I did The Power of Love by Dalton House and James Arthur, and I obviously tweeted that out. And she's been <clears throat> almost like my little. Um, fan if you like where she's been helping me out massively she's been retweeting it she's been liking it she's been talking she's been engaging so anyway so I said to her look you know you've been absolutely fantastic what is it is there a particular video you want me to do a live reaction of and this is one of the the videos she has chosen so guys obviously it just to encourage you guys to interact with myself and with the channel and with with you know the other guys that are with the other fans if you like um the, the more you interact and the more I get to know you then definitely I'll, I'll put those links out there, put those uh, these questions as the can you do this, can you do that sort of thing then by all means just put them out there so this one is for you um, and uh, <laughs> I remember, funny enough, it brought back so many memories because when um, Alison said at first oh can you do this, I thought I don't recognise that, what is that and then I remember when I went to James Arthur's live uh, performance in uh, Bournemouth uh, last year, in fact, not so long ago, almost a year to the day, uh, he did this, and it, yeah, it blew my mind. It really did. So, what's really good is obviously I have my my phone and my recordings back then, but and and this is a phone recording of, of a fan at his concert in Birmingham. But um, yes, it's uh. I'm really excited. It'd be nice to relive this moment, actually. So, um, without further ado, let's crack on, and uh, let's see let's see what it's all about, shall we? And let's let's go from there. Uh, I actually, yeah, we'll go for it. We'll go for it. Would you like to help us? Recently, I saw a documentary about one of our great British artists, George Michael. I was very inspired by George Michael. He was a fearless pioneer. He didn't give a shit about what anybody thought. He just loved music. And he just wanted to keep making music for people. We've been doing this cover of a song called Callous Whisper and we love to play for you tonight. Pay tribute to George Michael. Something in your eyes 
This is this is awesome. I just love his. I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. His raw, epic talent. He's just he's just sat, he's just literally sat on the end of his piano stool, just singing. There's there's no backing singers. There's no track in the background. Any of that stuff. It is just him, a mic, and just going for it live in front of all these people. He's not hiding behind Recordio Studios. His voice is golden. His ability is unique. His personality is just outstanding, and do you know what? Yeah, he's had he's had his demons, his troubles, but he he gets knocked down and he gets right back up again. And this guy's fantastic, honestly. He just listening to that now. There's something about James Arthur, obviously, apart from the fact that I absolutely love him, I think he's phenomenal. But when I try and do a live reaction of him, I get so engrossed. I feel like I'm just like. Gah. Like seriously, I'm, I'm with Dalton Harris. I said it before. I'm bouncing around the rooms, and I'm like, yes. And that kind of, as I said before, and another one is, is I think purely because I didn't know him from Adam, if you like, and I saw his journey from start to finish of the X Factor from the the auditions. Um. So yeah, so this is, there's like a determination that I want him to do well. Whereas with James Arthur, he's such a. a a unique raw individual that sings with pure emotion and he he's already his own artist and he's just he's absolutely outstanding so let's get back to it shall we Zone is crazy. Just, just all those trills, the, the up and down, unbelievable. It's so good, and it's just effortless. <clears throat> I meant actually, I haven't mentioned this about James Arthur before, but I did a lot with Dalton Harris. When when people do their singing and uh, and they try and hit notes, or they try and do trills, or they try and do vibrato, or they try and hit you know the high notes, some will pull funny faces. And they'll sort of do screw ups and all this sort of stuff, and that's really, really strain their face. Sometimes so much so that they restrict the the, the blood around their their throat and the vocal cords, and they go quite red. Um, and he, James Arthur and Dalton are very, very similar in that when they sing their songs, it's, it looks so effortless on the face, like proper effortless. Um, it just shows raw talent and, and phenomenal individuals and what they can do I can't wait I'm, I'm, we're three minutes 15 into this already it's phenomenal so good <laughs>
such a professional actually it reminds me a great deal of when he did his um, audition for the x Factor, where he did Talisa's cover and and you can uh, again we won't know until, unless he says it himself but when he did that um, that version of Talisa's cover it almost felt like there was a, a segment where he was he had a start point and a finish point and then the crowd got behind him and he just seemed to really, really keep pushing and pushing and, and just really get into it. And you can see on the video, it almost seems like it's, okay, so we're starting, getting to that point, and then coming back down again, and just about to finish. And then he just got so caught up in in the emotion, in the song, in the environment, and he just, he just went for it, proper went for it. And right now, he's doing exactly the same, and this is fun. It reminds me so much of one I saw him in Bournemouth. Um, it's just so good. So good. What more can I say? What do I do again? guys oh. but I mean what can you say about that really it reminds me so I, I said to you when I saw him in Bournemouth he he blew my mind and um, I, was, I was sat on one of the I didn't get one of the seats near the front because I got given um, the amazing um, tickets to go and see him um, for a gift and um, they also included staying at the Hilton Hotel in Bournemouth which is literally like a few uh, footsteps away and um, the funny story was, I, I said to my other half, I was like, do you know what, I wonder whether he's going to, you know, be here. Um, because it, to be fair, it's one of the best hotels in Bournemouth. And, you know, it's quite a you know popular one, if you like. And uh, she she thought the same. So um, anyway, so we all got ready, went off to, to the, the, the performance. And... I sort of hung about when we got back in the evening and, and you know, didn't see any evidence of him. And I came down uh, for breakfast the next day and the the receptionist there was like, oh, did you have a good night last night? I was like, yeah, it was amazing, it was amazing. Um, thank you very much for asking. She was like, oh, did you get to see him in the end? I was like, well, see him? Obviously, I saw him at the concert. And she was like, no, no, no. He was staying here. We couldn't say anything because obviously he was staying here, and lots of people would try and come in. But he he was hovering in the the main reception, and loads of people getting pictures with him. And I was just like, no, because that would have just been, you know, piece de resistance, the creme de la creme. Oh my goodness! But anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I hope that you did enjoy that, uh, especially to Alison. Um, aka at midnight tally 912 
I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I can't wait to do some more in the very, very near future. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think, guys. Put uh, your comments in the comments section below. If you haven't checked out all, any of my previous live uh, reactions, then please click on that description and you'll see a large list of the live reactions. And if you did like this video, then hit that like button. If you didn't, oh, just simply hit that dislike button. I'm not fussed. It's, it's my live reaction, in my opinion. And uh, I really, really like that. And I, I actually brought back so many memories. So thank you so much, Alison, for that. I really, really appreciate that. And um, on to the next few videos you've suggested. Hopefully we can get somewhere it's sort of, you know, a, a, a good quality in the sense of, um, you know, like a, a, a performance or uh, a video of sorts. Because uh, I find the, the, the audio really, really comes out well with those. So uh, anyway, we are where we are. So like I said, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And I uh, look forward to speaking to you all soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.